Hi, I'm Rob Birdwell. Welcome to my secret lair. Actually, I'm just in my basement. Uh, I'm going to show you real quick how I have been learning the Roland TR6S and how I can uh, record MIDI, uh, trigger MIDI, from my MPC-1. So let's take a quick look here. Okay, here's the uh, Roland TR6S. I've got it set on Kit 09, which is the bubble drunker. Um, I've got a tempo set at 100, uh, just for yucks, and that's also on the MPC one. And I've got um, basically an, an empty pattern, so I can trigger it. But when I play it here, I'm going to turn my metronome off over here so you don't hear that. But when I play the pattern, you can see it's going through, but I've cleared it all. And you can refer to your manual, but you would press clear, bass drum, hit all those, and then press uh, variation, and hold clear, and then press if you want to just clear a default one. So I'm just on pattern number one, and I've obviously edited it because you can see the star there. So the idea is I'd like to get... Uh, I'd like to do some sequencing with my MPC-1. So the connection that I have is simply a USB to um, just my MIDI, or sorry, my USB hub, which my Akai is also connected with. And so what I have here is just uh, a simple MIDI track on MIDI program with MIDI port to TR6S MIDI-1. Um, no special program change or bank or anything. I've got a two bar sequence and this is kind of important. So the MIDI output you want to have on channel 10 for the TR6S because that is what this guy by default, and you can change this obviously, but that is what, whoa, it just started playing. That was weird. Oh, it's probably playing a variation. Anyway, anyway, something just percolated. That was cool. Um, so anyway, without further ado, with those, you can hear that I can actually, I can play with the MPC pads and I'm triggering this guy here the Roland. And these pads aren't touch sensitive or velocity sensitive, uh, whereas these are, especially if I scale it up there. So now I can get the full effect. And obviously you can do all that here too, but um, this is just uh, me demonstrating that this is possible. So let's turn the metronome on and just create a quick um, pattern for yucks. All right, that's enough of that. And so you can see that it is Playing the sounds here. I can mess with this a little more if I wanted to. Change some things. All right, so that's it. Um, that was um, just a couple nights for me of playing around with this new Roland instrument. Uh, it's a great device. I love that it's got all the uh, you know kind of retro drums, but the amazing things uh, that you can do with it are pretty cool. So for me, I, I like to do a lot of MIDI sequencing, and I know a lot of people are uh, demonstrating how they can, you know, record the audio in here. But the nice thing about the MIDI here is if I get it going here, I can... I can save it, and all I have to do, it's on my MPC-1, and I can save it as the sequence. And I can I can get in and change some notes here, but that's all the MIDI data. I'm not having to deal with any sample data or anything. So if I wanted to, say, clear those little doohickeys there, it's hard to do with uh, one hand here. <laughs> not doing so well. Okay, there we go. Anyway, that's...
it's not working. Um, okay, I got rid of those two notes, but I could undo that and they're back again. There they are. Okay, anyway, I'm just demonstrating a simple sequence and I'll ride you out uh, this short video. If you like this, um, <laughs> boy, I hope you like it. Uh, this is very informal. It's not as fancy as some other ones, but I will ride you out here with a little sequence and uh, maybe I can play some one-handed trum trumpet here. Okay, let's go back here. And I will uh, record a bit of um, some MIDI Freak pad here. I don't know what I'm going to play, but this is the coda of this demo here. Two measure phrase. Can't go wrong with this. Did that not record? So much for the coda here. Oh, I had it muted. There we go. That'll play. Oh, no, it won't play. Oh, this this is kind of cool. In the in the track data, you can go in here. Where is it? There we go. And it's on uh, track mute. You can see I had it muted. So let's go there. Now it should play back. Of course, it's not going to play back. Dakota. Let me pick up my trumpet. Thanks for listening, everybody. Hope you got something out of this. Uh, it was just a quick technical demo, um, probably more time than it needed to be, but I will try to do better next time. Anyway, happy music making.